welcome once again to our daily devotional for today tuesday the 30th of march 2021 our topic today is do not despise prophecies part one and i'll be reading from the book of amos chapter 3 from verse 6 to 8 when a trumpet sounds in a city do not the people tremble when disaster comes to a city has not the lord caused it surely the sovereign lord does not does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The sovereign Lord has spoken, who can but prophesy? Our memory verse today will be taken from 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 20, and it says, despise not prophesying. What are prophecies? Prophecies are, um, are like, um, predictions or foretellings given to people by divine inspiration. Many times it's um, um, pastors, prophets, people who are divinely ordained to um, predict these things that, that give prophecies. But we know that in the present days and even for, for a long time there have been several false prophets. So it has made some people very critical of prophecies or very, very um, skeptical of prophecies. But the Bible here says, do not despise prophecies because many times um, from divinely, divinely ordained uh, ministers, prophecies are uh, messages from God. So as long as you can identify a, a divinely ordained and a um, righteous minister, then you know that those prophecies are from God. Many times they give out these prophecies in order to warn people. Some of these prophecies may be uh, predictions into the future to either want inform people about something that may happen that may just just to let you know just to inform you so that you are prepared other times it requires that you act when you ignore these things the benefits of this information is lost and the patient the person does not necessarily um, gain anything by this information by the uh, prophecies but as children of God when we um, when we hear prophecies from the ministers of God we should pay attention to them and seek the Holy Spirit's guidance on how to uh, make use of these prophecies. Sometimes it requires that you pray about something. Maybe um, if, if um, a prophecy comes that a certain thing is supposed to happen, then if there are ways in which you can counter that, if there are ways in which you can prevent this from happening, um, um, then that's the opportunity you have to do that. Sometimes these prophecies might actually even come to you. It may not come from a minister. It may come to you, but that requires you being in close um, communion with the Holy Spirit for you to be able to hear directly from God and refuse, receive this particular these prophecies directly from God about your life. So uh, it, it would pay any individual to benefit any um, Christian for him for he or her to have. A close relationship and a close uh, fellowship with God so that these divine messages even if they're not brought by um, divinely ordained ministers they are the Holy Spirit ministers them directly to us and we need to be able to uh, to tune into the voice of the Holy Spirit and know and hear when the Holy Spirit is speaking to us so that we can act accordingly the Holy Spirit is our divine guide while living on this earth and it, it will benefit us if we can listen to him and if we can hear from him and follow his divine instructions and my prayer for everyone listening today is that we will be able to tune our ears to the voice of the holy spirit and god will give us the and god will give us the um, discerning a discerning spirit to be able to discern false and real prophets and be able to um, listen to the prophecies that come from the words of the divinely ordained ministers in jesus name god bless you as you have listened if you enjoy this particular administration i want you to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can receive more of this god bless you have a wonderful day